Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself repair video today. I'm working on a Toshiba laptop here. And the issue that I'm gonna show you how to address is if you're getting the following errors. Uh, no bootable device found, no boot device, bootable device not found, and anything like that telling you that your computer is, is looking for something to boot off of and can't find it, so you're not getting anywhere, uh, Windows is not coming up. Uh, so that's the issue we're fixing in this computer. Now just so you're aware, if I had a, a, a Dell or an HP computer, um, I would start running it, it, its own built-in diagnostic software right away to see if my hard drive was the issue. Or if I had a Toshiba or an Acer or another laptop that did not have diagnostic software built in, I would use my own diagnostic software to test the hard drive. But I'm assuming that in, in your Toshiba, not only is there no diagnostic software, but you don't have the diagnostic software that I have. It's fairly expensive. Only computer shops usually have it. Um, so you don't have that option. So to help you work through your issue here, I'm gonna take you through some software fixes first that you can easily and freely check. Uh, hopefully that's the issue. And if it's not, then I'll show you how to identify if it is your hard drive uh, without this diagnostic software that we have at, as a computer shop. So the first uh, software fix I'm gonna show you is in BIOS. So you're gonna hit power and immediately start tapping on F12. Now keep in mind, before you try any of this, unplug all external devices. Unplug any USBs, any flash drives, any external storage. Uh, take out any CDs that, that you may have. Oh, I didn't start hitting it fast enough. Uh, because sometimes your computer tries to boot off of those things instead of your hard drive. So unplug all those, take those out, try to start your computer again, see if it works. Let me see if this works now. Okay, so start your computer, start tapping on F12 right away. Let's see if it works this time. And I'll show you some settings in BIOS that we can change. Okay, here we go. That worked. So let me zoom in on this for you, show you what we're doing here. Okay, so uh, your BIOS may look a little different um, depending on what year computer you have, how new it is. Then there's a lot of different versions of BIOS out there. So if yours doesn't look like this, stay calm. I'll show you what to look for. Try to just navigate around, explore around, and find it. So right now we're going to try to find your date and time settings. So as you can see on this screen, I don't see any date and time settings. From the look of this, this is just a boot menu. It's giving me different options to boot off of. So all of this is a boot order menu. So the only other option is enter setup, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to scroll down here with, with my arrow key. Some of you can also use your mouse. And I'm going to enter setup. Okay, so this is more where I want to be. So there's my system time, system date settings. So that's what you want to do. Explore around, see if you can find your system date and time. Make sure that this is correct. Uh, if this is not correct, it messes up all sorts of things with your base system loading up, which could cause the error that you're seeing. So make sure your date and time are correct. You can arrow in there or you can tab in there, but change those settings. If you find that they're wrong and you change them, great. Change them, save and exit, shut the computer down, try to boot again, see if the error goes away. If it doesn't go away, I'm gonna show you some more things that you can fix. You're gonna to try to locate somewhere in BIOS that is giving you the option of UEFI, legacy, or CSM. Sometimes legacy uh, is listed as CSM. So legacy and CSM are the same. So try to find UEFI and then legacy or CSM. So I don't see it anywhere here. So I'm gonna to go to security. I don't see it anywhere here. Power management, nah, it's probably not gonna be in there. Advanced, okay, I don't see it anywhere in advanced, but I do have some other options. I'm not trying to change my boot order, so system configuration, let's see that. Okay, there we go, UEFI. So, so you would just look around, if you don't see it right away, keep searching, try to find your UEFI or legacy or CSM settings. Now, without a lengthy explanation, you need to swap whatever you're on to the other one. So right now, you see here, I'm on UEFI. I want to switch to legacy. If you see legacy or CSM, you want to switch to UEFI. Uh, something may have gotten screwed up in your BIOS, causing that to be the wrong option. So if you have UEFI like me, what you're probably seeing here is that it's grayed out. I'm, I'm clicking on it, and, and I can't change it. So you're gonna have to change some other settings to allow you to change that. 
So let's go back to my security. And as you can see here, secure boot is currently enabled. I'm gonna disable secure boot. Oftentimes your computer wants UEFI and doesn't like you going to legacy and it tries to stop you. So it has secure boot on to prevent change. I'm going to disable my secure boot. I'm gonna go back over to advanced system configuration where we just were. And as you can see here, UEFI, now it's a drop down menu. I can click on it and I can change it to CSM. And again, CSM and legacy are, are, are the same thing. So I'm gonna to change to CSM. And then I would save and exit, and then you would try to uh, turn the computer off and again, boot up, see if that worked. And for those of you that are on CSM or, or legacy, and you wanna to change to UEFI, it should be a whole lot easier. You should just be able to click it, change to UEFI, and then you may as well go over to security and make sure that secure boot is on to stop it from changing again in, in the future. And again, hit save and exit, try restarting your computer. Now at this point, if the software fixes haven't worked, it's probably your hard drive. Um, but again, you cannot test your hard drive. So in a, because you can't test your hard drive, you're not sure. So at this point, we're gonna try working with your operating system. We're gonna leave your base system BIOS. We tried everything we could there, it didn't help. Now we're gonna move on to your operating system uh, Windows. Uh, in your operating system, first, you're gonna try a factory reset. The link will be below in the description. If the factory reset cannot go through, or if it doesn't work, we're gonna to try to reinstalling the operating system. Another link will be in the description for reinstalling Windows. If you reinstall Windows and your computer works, great. You know the operating system was corrupt and that's why you had the error. If reinstalling the operating system doesn't even work, then you've pretty much identified it is your hard drive. I'll have a video link below in the description on how to swap out a hard drive on a Toshiba. And then obviously once you put a new hard drive in, you'll have to install Windows. So you'll have to use the other link anyway. So those are all the things it could be. Your base system BIOS, your operating system, or your hardware, your hard drive. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, like and share if this is helpful. And if you, have, if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.